In the shimmering turquoise waters surrounding a small Croatian island, lurks an intriguing aquatic creature that evolved 450 million years ago. Here's a hint. It has an anus on the top of its head and the perfect number of gonads. Five. It has five gonads. We spent a week on a remote island soaking in the views and enjoying the tranquility. The gentle slapping of water greeted us in the morning. When the sun crested the surrounding hillside, the dull grey sea turned a vibrant blue. Looking into the shallows on our first day, I spotted something unusual, something exciting. We were surrounded by sea urchins, a colony of urchins in fact. One of the main reasons they live in colonies is, of course, sexual. Specifically, urchin fertilisation occurs outside of the body. Males and females release their reproductive matter into the water at the same time, so that it can mingle with others' reproductive matter. If that got you excited, all you'd need to do to calm down is watch an urchin for a bit. Because, let's be honest, they're pretty boring. Unless you watch them like this. As it happens, urchins have little sucker feet on their underside, which they oscillate in order to move. Understandably, they're motivated to move mostly for food. In their case, algae, to each their own. Though they also move to seek out dark, craggy corners to hide away from predators. You might rightly be wondering, how does an urchin seek exactly? It's just a prickly little living pincushion. Actually, those prickles are spines that are light sensitive. They stick out at different angles, not just for the aesthetics, but in a fashion that makes the entire urchin a compound eye, able to detect the direction of light and dark areas. Eventually they die and lose all their spines, leaving behind a hard carapace and one last glorious reveal. Finally, you can fully appreciate the urchin's five-fold symmetry and its anus. And on that bum note, who wouldn't want to visit Croatia?